Y'all look brighter and shinier than me today. You looking? I see you waving. You better look good. Y'all feeling all right? Yeah. Good. I love seeing you all. Thank y'all for coming to see about me. I see you put on your good holiday clothes. Yeah. I needed to take a look at around the room and see what y'all was wearing today. I see your beautiful colors and I love your energy, your smiles, your waves. <laughs> Y'all feeling in the holiday spirit? Yeah! You ready for it? Yeah! Listen, let me tell you, with it, with this right here, it smells so good, it's just going up my nose. It smells like the holiday season. Hold on, let me just get a good little sniff. Charles, can you smell it? I can't smell it over here. I'm gonna bring you one in a little bit. <laughs> can y'all say hello to my friend Charles Jones and nobody else, sis? You good, friend? I'm good. Aww. Yeah? Okay. Anyway, listen, look at this. You filthy animal. Anybody watch uh, my good movie, Home Alone? Yeah. Oh, baby, this is, I'm gonna take my time even putting this cup down. Cause I love the holidays. And the thing is, it's too short, yeah. right? Yeah. Come on, we need to extend it a little bit further. First of all, this is a serious holiday meeting. Everybody sit back, look. Okay, so I start my holiday season the day after Halloween. But that's still not long enough for me, okay? Because I added it up. So after, was it Thanksgiving? We kind of only got like 25 days or so to Christmas. So I think maybe we should start. <laughs> How much sooner could we start? <laughs> I'm going to figure it out. But until, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna think about that, but that is a very serious thing to me because I love it, I love the cooking. I can't cook that well, so I like candles. <laughs> that smell like everything I would wanna cook in the house. <laughs> you smell the little, like the vanilla scents or the cookies. And Charles, you done been to my house, you know. He spends New Year's with me every, so often at the house. And do I ever cook, Charles? Nah, but you know how to make some wings, though. I love the little freezer wings. Thank you for giving me some type of credit. Yep. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> the kids don't, they be like, what are you cooking? And then my son put me out of the kitchen and say, mama, I'll cook it. But that, that's beside the point. But if you come to my house, you're going to eat good. Just know that, OK? All right. I'm just saying. But what I want to talk about is Home Alone. Home Alone, the movie one and two. Is that, I know everybody has their own favorite holiday movies. Well, Home Alone, one, and you see, look at that. That's a classic to me. It is what, it is, I, I was trying to figure out, is it my favorite movie or favorite holiday movie? Cause it's in the top five movies for me of all time and I love it. I love it so much that I like to try to reenact and recreate those moments. <laughs> so do you know Home Alone was shot in where? Chicago, my hometown. Oh my God. You see this picture right here? That is the Home Alone house. That's in my city, y'all. Yeah. So last year, I took my son. I have my son and seven of his cousins. I call them Camp David. Well, y'all, we went and stood in front of the house the whole time just to see the house. That was a part of our holiday festivities. We went out there. We didn't get into the house. <laughs> Maybe this year. <laughs> Maybe this year we'll get into the house. And then what I also did was, okay, so Home Alone 2, you remember when he had to go to New York? And he, first he got to run through the O'Hare Airport. That's in my hometown. And you know I had him do my holiday decorations too because it was in the movie Home Alone and it's O'Hare Airport. So anytime I go to O'Hare Airport, right here. Ooh, y'all see that? I feel like I'm in the movie. And so I take my son and all eight of his cousins and you don't want to lose no kid. I'd be like, let's count the kids. Put your hand up, who's there? <laughs> And the decorations are already up. Now, what I'm trying to figure out is what, ooh, it would be a holiday dream. Y'all want to do this so bad. So maybe y'all can help me. Y'all hear this? Tell them at the O'Hare Airport. What I want to do is go to the airport right before they put up the decorations. And the airport can be closed. Don't nobody got to be there but me and the people that's decorating. And I'm going to sit and eat cookies, <laughs> maybe have a little Starbucks or something why they put up the decorations, right? Yeah. That's my holiday vision. <laughs> I have to also say, this same, this same hallway right here, I love it so much. When I was in high school, we used to go sing there. 
with my um, high school music teacher, Richard Nunley, and our choir. And we used to get to do all our holiday stuff there. So I have a lot of holiday memories from being at this very airport. So if I can get in there with a piano, y'all, I will send y'all down to during the holiday season. And this is just stuff that's on my mind. I come up with a lot of bright ideas. I'm a little different. I know it, and y'all looking at me just like my sister probably. She probably looking at me right now at home. Jennifer, what is you over there talking about? <laughs> but that's just what's on my spirit and my heart, and I like to express myself, so I'm a little different. <laughs> and also, with that being said, I'm curious to hear from some of y'all, what are some things that people may think is strange or that, that you like that other people may not like? I want to hear from a few of y'all. Hello, what's your name and where you from? Hi, my name is Karen Paul, and I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. All right. I like that jacket. You're shining. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing that I like is what everybody hates during the holidays, fruitcake. <laughs> I love me some fruitcake. You do? Yes. Well, what you love about it? I love the nuts. I love all the fruit in it. I love how sticky it is. I just love fruit. All the things everybody hate, you like that part of it? Yes, yes. So do you eat it by yourself or like? Um, I eat it by myself, because nobody else likes it. Everybody else is like, why she like that? Mm, do you <laughs> so make it or you buy it? I buy it. You, you go to the store and buy it? Yes. Oh, well, well, oh, enjoy. <laughs> I love that you love that. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> and I like your jacket, too. Thank you. you I like yours, right. too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, what's your name and where are you from? Hi, Jennifer. My name is Nancy. I'm from Menifee, California. Menifee, California. <laughs> okay, tell me what you like. I like to do household chores. Household chores. What's your favorite one you like to do? I love to sweep the floor. The kitchen, the living room, she could attest to this. Yes, I can confirm this. My name is Nanette, I'm her wife. You gonna confirm it? 32 years I've been watching her sweep. <laughs> I think I swept her off her feet, so. Ah, that was a good one. That was a good one. Well, thank you for sharing that. That is amazing. Who's next? Hello, how are you? Hello, Miss Hudson. What's your name and where are you from? My name's Christian from Torrance. All right. <laughs> this is getting more and more interesting. What you like? Uh, I actually like commuting, you know. Yeah. Yeah? I like commuting because I, I get to listen to my uh, favorite albums full, throughout and uh, maybe podcast too. So you like being like, do you like being stuck in traffic? Yes. Because, you know, you can, you can just, you're, you're just an autopilot. You don't need to drive fast. You don't need to look around. You're just... You know, just hanging out. What's the longest you, you, you've been stuck in traffic? I think three hours or so. And you were content? I was cool, yeah. Well, were I'm you driving. supposed to be somewhere on time? Yeah, no, I'm early. I'm there early. Oh, so you like them people in the airport who get there like six hours in advance. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do you have, oh, I gotta ask. Do you like road trips and do you have snacks in the car when you're in there? I love road trips. No snacks. Uh, I don't want it to be all dirty or anything. What? Oh, I gotta Basically, have a crumb in the I'll car. Stop, I'll stop over. Oh, so you make stops too? Yes. Oh, that is a whole road trip. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing that with me. Thank you, all of you guys. Thank you. <laughs> we have a great show. We'll be right back, but I'm gonna have my snack. You know our first guest from Glee, and now as the winner of this season's Mass Singer, please welcome Amber Riley. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Oh my God! Woo! You just cleaning up. <laughs> you win everything. You know, I tried. Maybe a little, little tiny bit compared. I to you. see. Congratulations on being the the winner of the Mass Singer. Thank you. Oh Thank my you. God! <laughs> Tell me about the moment right when they get ready to announce the winner. How were you feeling? Oh my gosh, I was I was so nervous. You I were? I really was. You know, it was such high anticipation. It was loud. Everybody was yelling. I was like, I want to make sure that I hear the right name. I don't want to celebrate. And they didn't say me. <laughs> like, you know, but it was, it was such a, it was just such an amazing moment. I had so much fun it doing that like show. It. And so just, it, it like came to a head and just exploded. To win, I can't, I don't even have words. To win, it's just like above what I could have oh ever Oh my goodness. Done. 
I could just see you soaring through it all. <laughs> so what was it like when Ken said he thought it was me as the heart? Oh my God, he kept saying it every single time. And honestly, you know what? If I'm gonna be compared to somebody. Oh, thank you. <laughs> if you gonna hear me sing and then put Jennifer Hudson uh -huh. in the you don't thank understand. You. Like that's so validating thank and you. so like flattering thank and like, it made me feel like I was beaming underneath that Oh, mask. you are beaming all in your I own right, honey. Here you sit. All in your own right. <laughs> wow, thank you for that. Okay, tell us about the harp costume. Oh my gosh, so when they showed me the sketch, they were like, well, we have an idea. Um, I think it's the first instrument that they've ever had on, oh. the, on the show, like making a, a, a person an instrument. And they showed me the sketch and I was like, the sketch is absolutely beautiful. And then I walked in and saw the actual costume and I was just taken aback. Like, I literally felt like I was getting dressed for the Met Gala like every time I put that on. You look like, like it. <laughs> yeah, but I love my costume. I loved it. It is so beautiful. Yeah, they did a good job. Do you pick it, like your costume? Like, how does it work? Do you guys get to pick They it? actually, like, sometimes they, they, they gave me like a couple of ideas, a couple of different ideas, but mm -hmm. I don't know, I just felt like, I don't know. I feel like the harp is kind of like this spiritual I love, I, you instrument. See, I keep, I'm I right see, here. I, I love see. a harp, honey. <laughs> I so see. I'm glad if they thought I was anybody, it was the harp yeah. for sure. <laughs> okay, tell me what it, did it mean to you to participate in that competition? You know, it meant a lot. During the pandemic, um, I watched Masked Singer with my mom. Mm -hmm. And I actually watched it with my friends. You know, it was a way for us to kind of connect even though we couldn't see one another. So. It was on my bucket list to actually do the show. And uh -huh. so when they asked me, it was like an immediate yes. And from watching the, the previous seasons and watching all the celebrities talk about how much fun they had, same. I had mm. a ball doing it that. It looks so fun. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I heard you mention your mom. Yeah. So I have to, where do you get your voice from? My mom. Your mom? So I, she sings like that too? She sings. Wow. Are you an only child? I'm not. I have two sisters. They sing too, but I they won't. I was going to ask. They won't. <laughs> uh -huh. Where do you keep your golden mask? Oh my God, okay, so here's the thing. Mm -hmm. You don't get the mask until it's announced that you won. Oh. Yeah, because they don't want like, let's say I'm like on Instagram Live and I got my mask trophy like chilling in the background. Right, you'll give it away. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't want, they don't want it to be like, ooh, nope, she won. And you know, people be, people are nosy. Oh, they knows, they pay attention to everything <laughs> but what they supposed to be paying attention to. Okay. Not on the internet. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> We have it here, so let's see. Here you go! Oh my God! <laughs> yes! That is dope! No way! <laughs> Can I look at that? Oh my God! Congratulations! This was such a nice surprise! Now oh that's wow. a mask, honey, baby! That is everything! Congratulations Thank again you. and again and again. We'll be right back. We're back with Amber Riley. Okay, so let me get this together. You're the first person to win Dancing with the Stars and the Mass Singer. Yes. You cleaning up. <laughs> How does that feel? It feels incredible. You know, it's so funny because I'm such a compartmentalizer, right? That I didn't ever correlate the two while I was doing the show. And then after I won, everybody kept mentioning it. And I was like, I guess I did do two competitions. <laughs> And you won them both. And I won them both. Yes. I'm the only person that can say that. That's dope. <laughs> yes. That's, and I, did y'all see her giving you a little dance move during a commercial break? Oh, I said, don't bust loose now, ever. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so you started singing as a ghost singer. I never heard of that term. <laughs> Tell us what that is. So basically, producers used to come and have me, I would do demos, but also sometimes when some artists couldn't do what I did in the demo, mm. and they would have me come and imitate that artist to kind of fix vocals. Imitate the artist. So you will go in and imitate the artist. Because I was thinking, because sometimes, we ain't gonna tell too much, but sometimes, <laughs> like say you'll blend someone's voice yes. in, say with yours, and you'll finish the lick or the whatever's more that's you know, what difficult I did. to do. Yep, that's what I did. So it's most like a, go like a ghost writer, like ghost writers come in and they'll write like lyrics for people. They'll say, oh, we'll just have you come in. And they, you know, they used to try to like lie and be like, oh, it's just a background. No, it's not. This is the lead. Like, I know my voice when I heard it. <laughs> that is, see? See, y'all be knowing. <laughs> but now you are front and center. Yes. How does that feel? It feels amazing. You know, it's been such a 
full circle moment. You know, I, I started out on Glee, mm -hmm. playing Mercedes Jones, and she was... We yeah. all love you on Glee, yeah, that's for baby. sure. And, you know, her character, you know, never was always fighting for the spotlight. And then I did Effie in Dreamgirls. And I Effie. got to see you do it. A fellow Effie in Dreamgirls. How amazing was that, that you were, like, actually in the UK when I did that? Like, that's crazy. You best believe I was going to be there. <laughs> oh, I made a point. I said, I got to go see Amber do this. And it was amazing. Thank you. Beautiful. So, beautiful did you, you know, playing Effie, and you know that, that, I know, I'm sure that you became very close to that character. Like, I became very close to that character. And really knew her and having her story be like this, um, you know, gift and not being able to be out in the front. Right. And I felt that. And so I feel like doing things like Mass Singer, doing things like Dancing with the Stars, I get to triumph for those, I get to be the triumphant, right. you know, for those stories. Yes. Yeah. I get to be the winner for yes. those stories. And like, it's yeah. just full circle for me. That's good, that's good. Okay, so this is important. Tell us about your docu-series. The Black Beauty Effect. Yes. So I was really honored to be asked to be a part of this docu-series, The Black Beauty Effect. It's basically a love letter to the black people that have been the interrupters in the beauty space, mm -hmm. whether that's hair, whether that's makeup, um, whether that's skin care. All these women that saw these issues, you know, models not having the, the dark enough foundation, um, these these innovators that kind of came in and saw all these issues and created uh, hair care lines for us in the beauty industry. Um, and people like Sam Fine, you know, yes. he's in the documentary. And then there's actors like Megan Good, she's in the documentary. Oh, wow. And we kind of told our, our horror stories, but also <laughs> our- <laughs> We all got some. Yes, in, 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 in Hollywood. Um, so it was an honor to be a part of it. It's, it's a tear jerker, but it's also super inspirational. Nice, well, let's take a look. Okay. I remember on Glee, we danced a lot on that show. We rehearsed a lot on that show. And I had been wearing wigs and I just didn't want to wear wigs anymore because it was just hot. They were pulling on my edges. I was talking to one of the hairstylists. I was saying, well, yeah, I think I want to get my hair flat ironed. And she pulled me aside and was like, you know, it would just be easier for us if you just wear a wig. What you're telling me is that the hair that grows out of my scalp is an inconvenience for you even though this is your job. When I came in the next day, I said, hey, if you don't think anybody here can do my hair, maybe you guys need to find someone who can. And that's when they started finding someone that actually did black hair. Thank you so much, Amber, for telling your story, for creating this and giving a platform for people to know and for creating this change to make it happen. Thank you so much. The Black Beauty Effect is available on Comcast, Xfinity, and Zumo now. Earlier this season, I saw a very special woman in the audience, and I knew I had to talk to her. Here's what happened. Check it out. Can I ask you your name? Marilyn. Marilyn? Yes. And can I ask you how old you are? 82 years old. Ain't that a blessing? <laughs> yes, I heard you had a question for me. I do. Could you sing a gospel song for me today? Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me see what I got for you. What, do you have a, a, a particular song? Yes. Let me see if I know it. He promised me. Jesus promised me? Oh, yeah. You know, my grandmama used to sing that. Yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah. That's my favorite. Oh, I better get the singing. <laughs> There's a place, you want to sing it with me, in heaven, prepared for me, when the torch of this life is over, where the saints are clothed in white beyond the throne, singing praises forevermore. My grandmama used to say, Jesus, he promised me a home over there. Jesus promised 
me a home over there. No more sickness, sorrow, pain, a care. Jesus, he promised me a home over there. Can I give you a hug? You don't have me cry with you. Now, can I ask you a question? I can answer. Do you mind coming down here with me on yeah. the stage? Thank you. That's a hug. Oh. Gotcha. You was comfortable in the room. I'm gonna take you Have a seat. And then I'm gonna tip over here on around. She said I was comfortable in the room back there. <laughs> yes, ma'am. How are you today? Doing good. You doing all right? I'm I'm so happy to see you. Can I give you the microphone? Thank you for being here again. You're welcome. It's a blessing to see you. How you been doing? I've been doing real good. You've been doing real good. I've been called all over the United States. You say you've been called? Getting, getting calls from all over the United States. Yeah? <laughs> They've been calling you? Yeah. Did you know our moment went viral? Uh, some, I was at a funeral. Uh-huh. And when I was at the funeral, one of my uh, sister-in-laws, she called and she said, did you get your check yet? I said, uh... <laughs> so I said, uh... <laughs> I said, oh, you know, they're giving our stimulus checks again? And she said, <laughs> she said, no, you went viral. And I said, well, who is viral? Well, I mean, what, what company is it? You what know, company is it? Viral, you know, what uh -huh. company is it? Because I'm going to know where it's at so I can get my check. <laughs> <laughs> they, they told you what viral meant? Yeah. Did they explained it to you? Yeah. And yeah. did you get your check, too? Did you? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever think we would have a, a moment like that together? No. No. But could I tell you the story? Yes, ma'am. So she got the t my daughter got the tickets uh -huh. for us to go. And so I said, um, if we can get there on time, I want to sit in the front row. All right. Because I want to sit there, I want to ask you yes. to sing that song for me. Aww. And so by my daughter and my granddaughter, you know, they like to dress and you know, put all the stuff on. And, <laughs> and all that, and they take their time, you know, but you know, the little stuff, the same way they did me in there. You look good, I see them eyebrows. You shy. Yeah, my, my daughter did that. And when we got here, that was number 63. Mm. There's no way I could sit in the front. Oh my God. <laughs> but I had prayed. Come on. I had prayed. Oh, they thought you were I had prayed at home so I wouldn't get agitated with them. And I prayed for me. I was praying for me. So, because yeah, I didn't want to get agitated. <laughs> and it hurry worked up, out, hurry huh? up. And I prayed and I said, because I want her to sing this song for me. Wow. And I was telling them, so you guys hurry up and, and get ready. And then I went on and I said, God, just keep my mouth. So I won't upset them because they upset me. <laughs> and I prayed for me. Yes. Miss Marley, can we keep talking? Yeah. All right. We'll be right back. And so when we came in, that door, you know, I was praying to God that I could get there so you could sing that song. Well, for he me. answered that prayer. And, and, and uh, we got up there and I said, looked over there. That was full. That was full. And then when I looked over, I said, oh, we're going to sit on that side in the back. And anyway, I said, well, you know, because if I could get to you. You did, too. I, 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 you got and to. And then God. Yes, ma'am. God, I draw you to me when you yes. passed on my granddaughter and you passed and you came to me. And I, that's when the tears started. Oh. Well. I was so grateful to, 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 to you, you know, it's not like a, a child. Uh, I mean, you're good inside and outside. Oh, make me cry. It, it, and you radiate that. Thank to, you. To, you radiate that to me. I don't make you cry. Make me yeah. cry. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. So you, you radiate that too, you know, and, and, and you know, me being my age, and I got a lot of, lot of children. Yes, ma'am. But I just have four daughters, and I have, you know, 
13 grandkids and I have... 13 uh, grandkids. I have, I have 20 great grandkids. 20 great grandkids. 15 girls and five boys. Oh, right. And then I have two little, little knucklehead great, great grandsons. <laughs> I love it. So that. It's, it's five generations from me. That's a blessing. Them, but... That is a beautiful blessing. So when I got there and I said that so it was a lady, and they were begging us to come down. Yeah. And, and said, us? Yeah, come down. And then they pointed to those three seats right over there. I said, Look at God. Look at God. Look at God. And oh, at God. oh Look at God. Mother Marilyn <laughs> must be God. They have to be God. Yes, ma'am. And, and I just thought when I, when I saw you, and I was so grateful so glad to be in your presence thank you and i saw everything i saw you on american idol yes, I was there when the lights went out you even know about the lights going uh -huh. out <laughs> and you didn't win yes ma'am <laughs> 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 I, I wanted you to win but thank you, you didn't thank you, know. you. and and effie and Effie, you follow it all. Well, Miss Marilyn, I had a praying grandmother because I said, when you called me and said, sing, and I was like, Lord, please let me know this song. Let me know this song. And when you said Jesus Promise, I said, thank you, grandmama. Because my grandmama used to sing that in church, and I was a little white baby. Watch her. Can we keep talking? Can you hang around for a little bit? Yes. All right, we'll be right back with Miss Marilyn. We are back with my favorite audience member, Miss Marilyn. I call you a family member now. That's you right, feel yeah. like family. Yes. Now, see, I heard you got a big family. Did, what did they think of you going viral? One of my grandsons texts you, uh -huh. and then uh, you text him back. He DM me. Oh. And did, yeah, Sheldon. Yes, yeah. He did. Yes, he did. Yes. And I saw he, he he sent me the little thing, and, and you replied to him. Yes. See, but that was his one. I got eight grandsons. Eight grandsons. And how many granddaughters do you have? Five. Five? Uh-huh. Oh, wow. You got great grands too? I got 15 great granddaughters. Oh. And I got five great grandsons. And one of my great grandsons just had a, a baby. And then so I got a one that's seven. One that's seven. Uh -huh. And so you got a real big family. Yeah. I well, do. you know, they heard that you was coming over here and they just wanted to come <laughs> here and some, celebrate you. And my great grandson, my, my grandson said, I want to go. <laughs> and my oldest grandson. Yeah. yeah so they wanted to come too? He, he said he wanted to come. He, got, he, he worked. He got a, a lot of jobs. Lot, well, lot, lot. well. <laughs> Well, Miss Marilyn, I think they might have made it. <laughs> yeah, come on out, family. Where y'all at? <laughs> it was in New York. You were just I just up. talked to your mom this morning. Oh my God, this the she whole thing. She told me a story. Uh, I talked to that dog. She about to get me. <laughs> she, she <got> the... <laughs> This is my oldest grandson. I was telling you that just work. This your family? Oh, you supposed to be at work. <laughs> that's what he told me. That's Cassius. That's Cassius. Uh huh. That's hey, Cassius. Cassius. I'm cousin Jennifer. <laughs> hey, hi. You look like me when I was little. What's your name? Morgan. 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 And Madison. And I'm Madison. And Madison. <laughs> and, and this and is the whole family. That's my grand, uh, great grandson. That's him. That's Y'all for being here. Are you surprised? Yeah. You, you surprised? How you feel? I just got to talking. You told me you was in. <laughs> to send you a picture so you could see my hair. <laughs> I love it. Well, can we give you one more thing before you go? Cause we got the whole family up here. Oh, we just want to give you a little something. Now, before you go, I want to give you a never-ending pass to come to the Jennifer Hudson show anytime you get ready, okay? And whatever. <laughs> Whatever you need me to sing, I'm going to sing it for you, okay? That show forever ticket to the J-Hood. Forever ticket, okay? That mean all of them can come? They can come anytime. <laughs> I hope y'all had a good time. Love on the babies. I want to thank all my guests, and I want to thank all you in the audience for coming to see about little old me and Miss Mother Marilyn right here. I love y'all. You going to say bye to them? Uh, Everybody go wave. We'll see you next time. Bye. bye. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.